In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve an assignment problem of the maximization type using the Hungarian method. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos and kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below for more exciting videos. Although the assignment method is primarily a minimization technique, it can be used to solve problems where maximization is required. In order to use maximization, each value in the initial table is subtracted from the largest value. This reverses the order of magnitude. The solution then proceeds as though you are solving a minimization problem. So in the question at hand, we have a company which has uh, four plants, one, two, three, and four, each of which can manufacture any of the four products. Now given the profit table, how can we assign the plants to product for maximum profit using the Hungarian method. Now using the Hungarian method, uh, there are steps which are followed. And the first step is, the largest figure is subtracted from every element in the table. So in this case, we are going to establish our largest element, which is going to be 8. So 8 is going to be subtracted from every element in the table. So we're going to have 8 minus 1, 7, 8 minus 8, 0, 8 minus 4, 4, 8 minus 1, 7. In row 2, we'll have 8 minus 5, 3, 8 minus 7, 1, 8 minus 6, 2, 8 minus 5, 3. In row 3, we'll have 8 minus 3, 5, 8 minus 5, 3, 8 minus 4, 4, 8 minus 2, 6. In row 4, we'll have 8 minus 3, 5, 8 minus 1, 7, 8 minus 6, 2, 8 minus 3, 5. Now that operation is going to give us a table which looks like this. So we're going to have 7, 0, 4, 7, 3, 1, 2, 3, 5, 3, 4, 6, 5, 7, 2, 5. The next step is uh, reduce each row by its smallest element. So in each row we're going to establish now the smallest element. So in row 1 we'll have the smallest element to be 0. In row 2 our smallest element to be 1. In row 3 our smallest element will be 3. In row 4 our smallest element will be 2. So we're supposed to reduce now each row by its smallest element. So we'll have 7 minus 0, 7, 0 minus 0, 0, 4 minus 0, 4, 7 minus 0, 7. In row 2, we'll have 3 minus 1, 2, 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 1, 1, 3 minus 1, 2. In row 3, we'll have 5 minus 3, 2, 3 minus 3, 0, 4 minus 3, 1, 6 minus 3, 3. In row 4, we'll have 5 minus 2, 3, 7 minus 2, 5, 2 minus 2, 0, 5 minus 2, 3. Now that operation will give us a table which looks like this. So we're going to have 7, 0, 4, 7, 2, 0, 1, 2, 2, 0, 1, 3, 3, 5, 0, 3. Now the next step is reduce each column by its smallest element. So now in our first column, our smallest element will be 2. In our second column, our smallest element will be 0. In column 3, our smallest element will be 0. In column 4, our smallest element will be 2. So when you're reducing now each each, uh, each column by smallest element, you're going to have 7 minus 2, 5, 2 minus 2, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 2, 1. In column 2, we'll have 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 5 minus 0, 5. In column 3, we'll have 4 minus 0, 4, 1 minus 0, 1, 1 minus 0, 1, 0 minus 0, 0. In column 4, we'll have 7 minus 2, 
5, 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 2, 1, 3 minus 2, 1. So that operation will give us 5, 0, 4, 5, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 5, 0, 1. So the next step is if each column or row has a zero unique to itself, then the optimum assignment has been arrived at. Now the easiest way to find out whether you have arrived at an optimum assignment is to draw vertical and horizontal lines across the element so as to cover all zeros in as few lines as possible. And you need to note that the lines must not be less than the number of assignment. So in this case now we are going to draw now vertical and horizontal lines across all zeros in as few lines as possible. So in this case now we start with the row. Which row has the highest number of zeros? So in row 1 we have 1 0 in row 2 we have three zeros in row 3 we have two zeros in row 4 we have one zero so we're going to cross now the second row like that the next line now will be on the third row now still we have two zeros remaining so you can have a vertical line there another vertical line there so we have crossed all zeros using now vertical and horizontal lines. So how many lines do we have? We have one, two, three, four. So we have four lines and the assignment is for four plants. So therefore we have reached our optimal assignment. So we're going to allocate to assign now the plants to the product and uh, the assignment will look as follows. So looking at uh, this table, we're going to have plant 1 being assigned to product B. You can see now B there. Plant 2, we have A, B, and D. For plant 3, we have A, B. Plant 4, we have C. And remember in assignment, it is uh, supposed to be one plant, one product. So in this case, the final uh, assignment will be plant A will go to product B. Then plant 4 will go to product C. Then in, for plant 3, since B has been taken automatically, we'll have now plant 3, uh, we assign it to product um, A. So since A and B have already been taken by plant 1 and 3, automatically plant 2 will go to product, will be assigned to product D. So that is our assignment. Now what is the maximum profit? So we need to go back to our initial table now get the original figure that were in that table, then you see the maximum profit. So this is our original table. So we're saying plant 1, we're going to have it to go to B. Then plant 2, plant 2 we have um, product D, so that is 5. Then plant 3, Plant 3, we have product A. Then finally, plant 4, we have product C. So therefore, our maximum profit will be 22. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel today. Thank you.